I can remember. You remember the team that went to Vegas and lost to? Lost to Utah and Ohio yeah, State? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm, um, I, there are things that we got to get right. Um, some of it's on the court, and we can all, you know, say this, that, and the other. My team's different. I got Oscar. Only one or two other teams has a player like that. The rest of them are playing with threes and fours at fives at the five position. But when you got a guy that can go get you 25, if he's making free throws, he gets you 30, you're going to play different. So the basketball stuff, trying to get them to pass each other, and that, that's fixable. But the other side is off the court, the, the mind stuff, which is this is not life and death. It seems that way because we're playing Kentucky and coach here. But it's not life and death. And that you've got to play with confidence. Fall back. You've been doing this since you're eight years old. Play with courage, meaning you trust each other. Play fearless, means you talk to one another. And you know, you're fearless if it's us against them. It's, fear creeps in if it's you against them and you miss a couple shots. So I'm trying to do all of that stuff. We did a free throw thing today. They were better. Now we'll carry over. It will eventually. Now. Let me just say this about Louisville. Ken's doing a, he's doing a hell of a job. Now, you could talk record and, Cal, you're doing this. No, watch the games. Their team is getting better. They play hard. He's trying different things defensively. You can see if you coach what he's doing. Um, they've been in – they're not getting buried. They're in every game they play. They have a chance to win every game. Um, making shots. You know, so this is a game that I imagine they're coming in expecting to win. Like they think they can beat us. And you know what? I watch tape. We're going to have to play to win the game. It's going to be a hard game for us to win. Um, but my concern is the bigger picture. I know I got a good team. We're not there yet and we're not playing that way. But the mentality of this is as big as all the other stuff. Are you ready? Today they were unbelievable, confident, making shots. I sent him a text about when things are going your way, yeah, all things always seem to work out. Or if you win or you're, somebody says, you know, I agree with you, I'm going to accept that. But when things go wrong and you're told no or you lose a game, are you going to blame or are you going to go to the next and look and say, how do we move this needle? And again, it's both strategically. We're still not in sync offensively, to be honest. We're not. We talked about it today. We've showed it on tape. Hopefully, we'll get better. Um, but the mental part, I told him, was you're feeling good. You're positive. And all of a sudden, something goes wrong. Where are you now? Are you tough enough to fight through that? And right now, you know, it's, it's like being a general. You have a plan on the war and what you're going to do, and it never goes that way. So you got to adjust and move, and, but we got to be physically on tune, but just as importantly, mentally. So I'm hoping I didn't give all that to you, but just so you know, my mindset is this is both. Because you can't, you have guys that should be playing better that aren't. So that's my responsibility to figure out why aren't they playing better? You as an individual, why aren't you making free throws? Why aren't you? And that's my job for them and for us. How much do you have to have an identity before you can play connected and, and, and you know, free and loose? I mean, do you guys feel like, do you know what, are you talking about offense? Do you know what you want that identity to be? We're, and I'm, I'm grabbing the guards and I'm talking about it. I think there are times we're trying to play too fast. And when you play that fast, there's a couple guys that can't play that way. So there are times we're running, and it's three on two, two on one, a three, a, a post up, a swing, a dribble. That's all fine. But now they make a goal, or they're pressing, and they're back there. Now how are we playing? What's the pace? How do we control the pace? You know, we, we got away with just playing fast. Now all of a sudden you play the good teams, you got to play – where the ball goes from one side to the other. So, uh, or a team that tries to be disruptive. All right, when are you taking advantage of those things? Um, but we're, like I said, I, 
you know, Jay and Wright and those guys were watching. I got great kids. I'm not walking in like I can't stand coaching these guys. I love coaching these guys. We just need them to be mentally more sturdy. So when things don't go right, they're mentally sturdy. So what do you do? You talk about it. You tell them, here's your response to stuff. Um, you do stuff in practice and you call it out to make them understand you're in it right now. The fight they're going to have the rest of their lives is when things get tough, does it change them? Do they play or be fearless? Or do they go back and into a shell? Hard to be aggressive um, when you're playing tentative. And you're playing tentative because you miss three shots. Not because you come out because you make a mistake, no. And then the other thing is if someone else is playing better, let him play, which is you know what we seem to be doing a little bit of. Did you think you would have to have these kind of conversations with players that have been here and been in college for two, three, four, five years at this point in the season? They haven't been hit this hard before. Like, just so you know, it's all the stuff outside the program that goes on here, what's said and all that stuff, that's a tax that you pay to be here. You want to be at Kentucky? Here's the tax. When it doesn't go right, here's what you deal with. And that includes me. I've been paying taxes for a long time. So I got bazooka holes, bullet holes, arrows, uh, agenda-driven stuff, uh, all the, I've had it all. But it's still hard. But it's a tax you pay to be here. Now, you wish it weren't that way, but, and, and the tax we pay here is more than the tax anyone else pays. It is. And, and you know, other coaches know that. They'll call me and, you know, wow. Blah, blah. But it, it's, it is what it is because it's being here at Kentucky. Do I think some of the guys should be by this? Well, even at my age, and I've been through about everything, sometimes you get hit in the head or you get knocked for a loop. You're like, whoa. And so these kids are, so they're 21, 19. None of them have been in this position to be counted on as much as they have been in this kind of environment. But like I told them, I chose you to be here. But more importantly, you had big boy pants that you had to put on to come here. Because we told them, this is the hardest thing you're ever going to do. They're finding it out. But it's not just one guy. It's, you know. And I, and I think some of this stuff is contagious. I don't know when it's going to kick in. I hope this game, but I can't tell you. I mean, they're, they're making shots, and they play hard, and they run good stuff, and they got some guys that can break you down and score. Kenny's done a hell of a job of how – coaching is when things don't go right. How are you now? Um, I had to talk to the kids and say, look, you know, I went some, through some stuff yesterday uh, with – my own family that I said, but whatever I'm dealing with, I'm always going to stay strong for you and not flinch, not flinching for you. So whatever I'm dealing with, you'll never know because my job is to be there and to let them see what, where I come at every game, every day, every practice. So I'm, you know, we're going to, there are going to be a couple guys who are going to play some that didn't play you know, to give them some minutes and give them an opportunity. But um, we had one day, really, we did a walkthrough yesterday, but we had one day for them. And obviously, they've had five. So I imagine they're going to be everything we run, they're going to be on top of everything they're going to do. They've, they've watched it. And I expect it to be an absolute war. I don't think they're coming in with the mentality they're going to win the game. That's what their mentality is, my guess is. And so we're, our whole thing is, look, it's going to be a war. Don't expect it to be something easy. Have you and Kenny commiserated at all? Over the, I mean, you know, We've texted each other. You know, talking about slings and arrows. I mean, when you start 2-11 and and in your first year, you start hearing a lot of that criticism. He and I went, we, we texted. We've texted back and forth. I saw um, um, Zan was in town. And, uh, you know, I, I'm not going to call if he lost a couple games. I'm not. You know, like Tony and I, I hadn't been in touch with Tony, but he won last night. They beat Michigan, Central Michigan. And I hit him this morning, man. I said, wow, beat him better than we did. So, um, 
you know, but yeah, I, I'm just, you know, again, it's easy when you're winning. The real coaching steps up is when you're up against it and you, things aren't going right. And you got the avalanche around you. Um, how do you sleep? You got to get rest. If you've been through stuff like this, you can sleep. If you've never been through this, you're under the desk in a fetal position. So, you know, it's not easy. I know it's not easy for our fans. They want us to win every game just like I want to win every game. But my concern is how do I get these guys right so we'll click offensively and how do I get their confidence where you can't just build it. You're the best. You're okay. Just let it go. And then you go one for five. How do you deal with that? Like, we had some guys who were unbelievable today. And my thing was, okay, that's good. But when you get in that ring and you step in, how do you react now? Do you try to run to a corner or you come back swinging? I mean, and I told him, this is for the rest of your life. The rest of your life. And that means if you're playing ball, absolutely what it'll all be about. And if you're not, it's still the same. It's not going to go as planned, and you're going to lose things, and things are going to go against you, and fate is going to intervene. Can you come back and go? So I'm, the, the cha I wish I wasn't being challenged this way because I really like an easy life. I really do. I'm one of those guys. I don't need – you know, we had a 50-some game winning streak, and, uh, and that somebody said to me, you know, ah, you'd like more of a challenge. What? Are you out of your mind? No, I wouldn't. But you know what? I've been through this, and it's really hard. And if it's hard for me, what do I then know? And what is my job? Worry about me? Be under the covers? Or what is my job? If I'm about players first, then I got to – I got to – I haven't seen one thing. I imagine it's not been too bad on me. But I haven't seen one thing – her, I told him, no, don't call me, don't tell me. I really, all I'm focused on are these guys. I don't care. It's a tax you pay. People that know me, know the person I am, know the coach I am, know what I've done over, they know. And if you're mad and angry, I agree. If you think I'm the worst ever, I agree. Can we move on so I can coach my team? That's all I got to be able to do. So... Um, but it's hard. I mean, going through what we went last game and, and you know, Tyler Eulis was in there today hearing how I was approaching this stuff and how I approached it yesterday, how I'll approach it tonight and tomorrow. But it's not the immediate. It's when things go wrong do you dig down. So, and it may not happen this game. It may go wrong, and maybe they don't fight. And I told them, these guys will probably come out of the gate like Missouri did. All right. What does that mean? Do you scared to death? Or you? I said, this is not life or death. This is basketball. We absolutely let them kick us, and they played well in Missouri. They'd have beat a lot of teams that night. But we let them kick us with some of the stuff we did. We're still here. You won't believe it. We're alive. We didn't die. We weren't eaten. All right, now what are we going to do? That's how you got to play this game. And, and uh, so I, I don't know. I, I love it. Love this group. Um, I wish we were farther along trying to – how do you do this with Oscar being your best? Yet how do we then also space it and do some stuff? We're, we're spaced out, but with Oscar – He's just a guy that you you got to look to throw it in there to him. When you do, something good happens. Let him ask one question. Yeah. Uh, did that Missouri team remind you at all of, of especially your Memphis teams, uh, the way they attack, the way they score, <coughs> some of your earlier teams? Um, you have to understand, I've had pressing teams, but if you watch closely, I pressed the first five minutes, and then I didn't really press anymore. All my teams, really. Not so much the pressing, but all around the court, the way they. Well, they what they did. We never denied like that. We didn't. We switched some, 
likes, but we didn't. We'd lock you down and give you one tough shot, rebound and run it up your neck, and if not, we'd grind it. We pressed the first five minutes. When I was at UMass, we pressed the first five minutes. We were a pressing team and a running, yeah, okay, the first five minutes. Sometimes it was three minutes. If they blow by us and shot layups, I'd say, call it off, just go. Um, we had a defense in each group. We call it one down, which is, okay, now deny everything. We have it here. We just haven't used it that much, but we have it. We deny every pass and we spread out, and mainly because the team's holding the ball. So they hold the ball, so now try to steal every pass. They're trying to throw 10 passes. But no, um, you know, my, us defensively historically has been what we've been doing. Now, we gave up some threes, and again, some of them were by, by our five because he's not used to playing a 3-4, who's a five. So now his hands are down, the kid shoots a three, shoots a three. You know, that, that affected us. But, you know, I'm, again, messing with stuff even defensively, um, pressing some, similar to what I've done in the past, um, pressing more if that's what it needs to be. Um, but no, we didn't, we've never, they switched everything. I've never really played that way. But I had like Joey Dorsey. Joey Dorsey was a six, seven, six, eight, guy around the basket, I wasn't bringing him out. We let him, kind of like Oscar, I'm not gonna let him be in that because he may foul. Matter of fact, um, if I ever did bring him out, he probably did foul. But he was, he was a monster, kind of like Oscar, probably not quite Oscar, but he was tough. When you say, I know I have a good team, and you haven't played well against good competition, uh, what do you see Individual players, the individual players. I mean, you know, but in, they're not playing great right now. And that's why I'm saying that you, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that all should be better than they are right now. And now it becomes, all right, let's figure out why. Part of it is when you show them on tape, decision-making. Why didn't you throw him that ball? What, what is your answer to that? You know, so now I say, I know I got pretty good players. I'm not saying I have the best players in the country, but I got pretty good players. And I got a couple of the better players in the country. I got a, one of the freshmen is one of the best freshmen in the country. So, okay, how do we do this? How maybe pace of game? You know, now you look at all my teams that final four wins, National champ. What were the score of those games? 85 to something. What was the score? 69, 68, 71, 72. I mean, if you looked, that's how we played. So we would play fast, but against the really good teams, you can't play as fast because you're not going to get beat in transition. So, you know, we're trying to get that down and uh, but it's a work in progress but it's what we're doing every day my focus is on coaching this team none of the other stuff I'm you know we're we're together in, in on the tape work and what we're doing and um, building and getting them to understand how you get confidence how you build it you know look how do you look at stuff so I come back to it's not life or death it feels that way sometimes, but it isn't. It's not life or death. Because if it is, you die a lot. And when you die a lot, life is really, really hard. So um, I appreciate you guys waiting. Um, and just to tell you, Kenny, I know the record. You know, I'm, I've had teams that started poorly. And, um, but I also know just watching He's coaching his team. He's building people up. He's trying to figure out how they play together. He's doing some things defensively. He's doing a 2-2-1. A two, two, he's, he's doing a little man press. He's doing a – he went to a zone, a 2-3 zone. Um, they're, they're denying everything. Then they're playing tight. They're trapping pick and rolls and sometimes going – he's trying different things. So um, he's, he's doing good stuff.
Thanks, folks. Appreciate it.